All right, guys, it's your boy, Cotton Lad, and today we're going to be doing a box showcase of my global Dokkan account, which currently is my only Do uh, Dokkan account. I'm planning on maybe getting a JP account. We'll see how that goes. But as you can see, this is going to be a box showcase, and as you can see, um, I've got my box right here. It's um, I filter it through attack. Um, as you can see, I've got some decent um, cards here. I've got some LRs, um, some Dokkan Fest exclusives, and some pretty good banner units um as we scroll as we scroll down through here you're gonna see that um my account is pretty mid you know it's not the best um seeing as uh, uh this account i believe is a little over a year old now i started when um dragon ball super broly and gogeta their um banners came out so i started like towards the end of it and so um i'm making this video primarily for those um new players that are coming to Global Dokkan because of the um, anniversary that's coming up uh, as the blue fusions are the main focus of that anniversary as last year were the Super Saiyan 4s and so what I'm gonna do to in today's video is explain to you and kind of show you like a before and after thing so I'm gonna record this like prior um, prior to the anniversary and then I'm gonna record one after like comparing my account um, see how it's grown because of the anniversary because um I always tell um, new players if you're gonna get the game at least get the game I would say maybe a month or two before the anniversary actually begins in order to save a decent amount of stones so that when you summon you get um, a decent amount of characters because aside from just having stones uh, the banners give you tickets as well and there's gonna be a ticket version of um, those banners that is usually just a global thing JP doesn't get this and uh, speaking of that, tomorrow I'm going to be talking about the anniversary banners, you know, what units are on there. Um, I won't really say uh, who you should summon for, you know, it's based all on preference, you know. Uh, you tell me down below if you're Team Gogeta or Vegito. Personally, for me, I believe I might go more heavily into the Vegito banner, but Gogeta, in terms of just the character itself, tends to be um, my overall more favorite character than Vegito, but design wise I like Vegito better. Anyways, we're getting off topic. And so as you can see, um it's a pretty good account. You know, I've got some SSRs that I still need to awaken. Um, and then we go down here, we've got like Sleepy Kai's, we got um Elder Kai's. I forget what these guys are called. You are Grand Kai's. So as you can see I've got a decent number of them that I've been saving up just in case if I pull certain units that um, I want to just like quickly awaken and all that. And so uh more advice for you just in terms is uh, you know save up your hidden potential orbs so you can see here I've got a couple orbs um, saved up just in case I can rainbow some new units and as well as uh, put some new um, orbs into some characters that I may get such as the fusions um, in terms of items like training items I've been saving up so I've got a decent number of them each and so if we go here, I'm just gonna tag on all characters. So these are the only rainbowed units like that, like banner units or Dokkan Fest exclusives that I've got so far. This Goku technically doesn't count because he's a free card that Dokkan gives to you, um, I believe, during the countdown to the anniversary or when the anniversary begins. I don't know. Uh, maybe you guys know. And so he technically doesn't count um, because, you know, he is uh, free to play. But I managed to rainbow this Tech Vegito Blue during the 4th anniversary, so that's why I tell you, save your stones. You're going to get really good value out of them. I managed to rainbow him. He's very good. As well as the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. He's got his easy A. I don't remember when. I don't think it was during the anniversary. I think it may have been in the download celebration. I think it was 300 million download celebration and uh, so he's actually really good he hits pretty hard um, um Turles, you know one of the best support types in the game still very good to this day and finally the dragon ball hero super saiyan 3 trunks he's a defensive monster he's really good for typical events so i'm really happy I managed to rainbow him then we've got my lrs i've got 12 lrs in total that i've awakened to our status i do have some lrs that i still have as urs or ssrs because i haven't had the time to really get to them and focus on them 
Like for example, uh, Krillin, I still need to farm his uh, metals to get him to LR status. And then I have STR Broly that I still haven't awakened fully, uh, just because, I don't know, just pure laziness. <laughs> And then we got my free-to-play characters, as you can see, and most of them are rainbow because most free-to-play characters have their own orbs, such as the Team Bardock, as well as, uh, I believe he has his own orbs, I'm not sure. Uh, I think I may have used AGL potential orbs on him. Though. So as we go down here, uh, you know, a good selection of free-to-play characters, you know, these free-to-play characters um, are going to be very beneficial to you, especially the Ginyu Force and Team Bardock because they have their own teams and they work really well with each other but uh, currently on global you know we've got the new free-to-play Krillin he's really really good for the world tournament uh, so be sure to try to farm him up at least to his TUR because I know getting the 777 medals is a grind it is hard for like new for new players you're gonna have as much stamina or you may not have enough free to play characters to actually challenge this event so um, if you can at least try to get him just to his TUR state because then in that state he's able to attack all types which is gonna be good for world tournament which we may get not sure yet um, we might get it maybe a weekend or two away from the anniversary because uh, world tournaments usually only like three days long so they could slip it in before the anniversary and so, you go here, these are all the Dokkan Fests that I pulled, and if you see any that I didn't put um, in this, please tell me so I can add them. Um, I did manage to pull um, Beerus in the Step Ups. It was, I think it was 25, then 35, or 30, correct me, uh, down in the comics, comments if I'm wrong. Uh, I didn't do the 45 one, I didn't see any reason to go back in. Um, because like I was happy I got Beerus, I also managed to get Weasel. So let me just quickly find him. Weasel, okay, STR, you uh, are. There he is. So I did manage to pull Weasel as well. Um, I'm planning on doing a video of them uh, sometime in the near future. Um, I know I'm, I know I'm going to be late to it, as you know many others have done it. But um, I am going to try to put that out, and then, and I'm going to try to get him to 55% in the dupe system just so it's like very representative of what most players I believe will have them at because you know not everybody's gonna have them completely rainbowed or with like several dupes in them unless you're really lucky because if you are good for you because they are a beastly combo so as you can see um, a decent number of Dokkan Fest exclusives like the um, Tech Majin Vegeta or Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta that transforms into um, Majin Vegeta he's really good um, he's got to be one of my favorite units to run um, this, the Super Saiyan Vegeta that no one likes the transforming one, he, even though he runs one of the best categories in the game, the Pure Saiyans, but no one runs him. Um, right now I have my tech, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta as this, uh, my friend supporter, um, but I think I might change it to, uh, this Super Saiyan Vegeta because I know, um, from experience from listening and watching other YouTubers that, um, not a lot of people put this guy as their friend lead and so anyways I'm getting a little bit off topic but anyways as you can see this was my box a uh, pretty decent number of units you know um, not the best but not terribly bad either and so I'll see you guys in the next one